Hey, Dave, it's a super cheesy entrance, huh? <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Uh, we are at our fantastic Shepherd's Hut Airbnb in, near Rye in East Sussex. It is beautiful here. It's fantastic. We've arrived, we've got our bearings, we've settled in a little bit, um, but we're gonna have a few beers. We are definitely gonna have a few beers cook some dinner, there's an open fire pit, there's lots of fun to be had and stick around because we're going to give you a room tour later. But for now, we're going to chill out. Okay, beers at the ready. Let's get to relaxing. And the sun is perfect this evening as well. So nice. Beers, snacks, we've got our lovely little field which we'll show you around properly. <sighs> Time to unwind. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, oh. So before we get our dinner, Dozer is having his. He's been super good boy all day. Okay. I'm hungry. Yeah, you're welcome. Just getting the campfire going and then in a bit we're probably going to cook some dinner on it. I'll show you in a minute, but we have a book called um, Grilled, which is all vegetarian food that you can cook on a, a campfire, open fire or like barbecue type stuff as well. So uh, that'll be good. The book is called Chard. Chard! <laughs> <laughs> Could be called Grilled. <laughs> Gonna crack into another beer. What could be better, beer and a campfire? Very handsome. So this is what we are going to attempt to make on the barbecue or on the campfire. Um, it is charred asparagus and campanzola toasty. I'm making it with cheddar and um, like Santagua blue cheese. Um, it actually called for something different, um, but we don't have it and I couldn't find it. So how do you make this posh cheese on toast? I don't know. I'll have a look in a minute. <laughs> I just gotta cut the bread first. What if the recipe doesn't say to cut the bread? It's how can you make a sandwich without cutting the bread? Are you feeding Dozer all the bread? Mm hmm <laughs> <laughs> So we are charring our asparagus. Oh, or cremating it. Cremating the asparagus. I mean, just look at this light though coming through the trees. It's beautiful here. A very interested little helper here. Um it says to butter the bread, but I'm actually using olive oil and a little bit of salt and pepper because I think it would taste really nice. Um, so now we just um, build the cheese up. And what cheese is this? So we've just got a really nice strong cheddar and some Santa Gur blue cheese. I don't often do recipes. Um, make the measurements up as I go. And that looks good to me. Asparagus on. Oh, it's going to have less asparagus. Never mind. And then we put the bread on top. And I will drizzle. Drizzle? I will <laughs> drizzle. <laughs> I will drizzle a little more olive oil over the top of the bread. And there we go. Let's get them on the flames. Let's get those in there. And hopefully that cheese will all start to melt nicely. And this is where there's like a little little windy clock thing. And the next thing, next thing you see is beautifully toasted toasties. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh no! Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> okay, so I think it's time to dish these up and give them a go. Look at these cool vintage plates. Yeah, they're great, aren't they? Now I don't think the, um, oh, the cheese looks okay. I don't think it's all completely melted. Um, the bread's a little bit thicker than it probably should be, but um, 
I think they're gonna look, I think they're gonna taste pretty good. The bread's nice and crispy. Oh, that smells amazing. Yeah. And there we have it. Campfire chard, uh, asparagus, two cheeses with some sourdough bread and olive oil. We're ready to go. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. But for something so simple, it's delicious. Mm. We have had a great evening drinking beer and making dinner by the campfire, but we are pooped. It's time for bed. We'll see you in the morning for that room tour. Good night. Good morning. Good morning. We, we had, had a fantastic night a in our little night. shepherd's hut. But anyway, who fancies a room tour? Okay, come on in to our tiny home shepherd's hut. And we're not gonna go from room to room because this is kind of it. It's teeny tiny, but it's lovely. It's absolutely beautiful. So, so cozy. As you come in, we've got this wonderful little log burner. Um, and you've got all the logs, all the fire lighters and matches you need. Um, it's so cute and dinky. You do have to kind of keep keep it fed <laughs> because it is so small, but it really heats it up so warm in here. Over here, got some really nice features. Love this. It's like an old milk churn, which has been turned into like a light feature. I would really love to do something like this at home. Isn't I think it cool? this is cool. So they basically cut it in half and then they've got these kind of carnival lights in it, which yeah. is just awesome. Such a nice feature, isn't yeah. it? As is this a nice tin of pears <laughs> i don't really know what the phrase <laughs> comes from but it's a cool feature isn't it just above the bed and this is our bed a nice big bed well big enough for us anyway um proper cozy wasn't it you yeah, know it snuggled up under the duvet at night um and i don't know if you can hear above me talking the sound of birds everywhere is just so tranquil. And this is their Instagram handle if you want to go and follow this place and check out. Yep, follow us at um, hashtag KingsViewStay. Um, you found them on Instagram as well, didn't you? Yes, I did, yeah. 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 Now, we found this place on Airbnb, and we'll tell you all about that in a minute. But, um, yeah, go hit them up on Instagram, and you can get a really good feel for what it's like. Um, and you've got things like um, cattle, um, hairdryer, and stuff like that. Um, so, you know... If you forget things or you know you've got all those little creature comforts you're, you're well sorted yeah and we have stuffed most of our belongings under the bed that's a good point actually yeah there's not obviously there's no room for cupboards and things like that but there is a load of storage underneath the bed so yeah. you can just throw things out there out of the way and make it look really tidy for a room tour like we've done <laughs> um oh and it's got a nice digital radio as well <laughs> Shepherd's Hut. Okay, we're going to show you the most important facilities, <laughs> the lav shack and the shower shack. How cool is that? The lav shack. <laughs> the lav shack. Okay. Lav shack, baby. We'll just give you a quick look in here. This is a composting toilet. Um, so, if you haven't used a composting toilet, I'm not going to lift the lid because no, you don't need to. That's just weird. You don't need yeah. to look inside the toilet. Um, but basically, it's a two-part toilet. So your number ones go in one place and your number twos go in the other. And after you've done a number two, you throw a little bit of sawdust in and then all of your waste gets composted. Um, so this is the shower shack. So we've both had um, some showers this morning. How's your shower? <laughs> I think the water was hot, but the ambient outside temperature was so cold, it just kind of felt a little bit warm. It did. So you got, um, it's actually a gas powered shower. Um, so you can actually see the little flames heating up the water in there. Um, but perfectly, perfectly adequate. Um, but as Sarah said, a little bit chilly. A little bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so always one of the most important parts for me 
is where the food comes from. <laughs> and what we've got is this amazing little outdoor, um, it's like an adventure kitchen, it isn't is it? Like an it's like um, you imagine on safari or something like that. But um, it's brilliant, it's got all you need. Come on in. So this is where we get our water from. In fact, we need to top it up a little bit, but fresh water, little standpipe down there, you just fill it up. Um, a few basic provisions. We've actually just really got wine, beer, and some whiskey. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but over here, you've got a little pop-out um, camping stove. Two burners on there, so you can cook anything you need to on there as well. Um, if you don't want a, uh, the hassle of um, getting a fire going, quick and easy, get yourself sorted. Um, they leave you with um, basic provisions like some oil, salt and pepper, um, tea and coffee, that kind of thing. Um, and um, you've got plates, cups, um, glasses, cutlery, pots and pans and all that kind of stuff. Um, wonderful, solid, really nice actually, really sort of solid wood um, table and bench that you can sit at. Um, and we've got our breakfast ready to go, um, which I think we're going to tuck into now, aren't we? Yes, we are. I'm very hungry now. But Seriously, if you um, love quirky accommodation, if you like staying in something a little bit different, a um, little bit off the beaten track, nice privacy, nice seclusion, and just sort of unplug and unwind, we can highly recommend somewhere like this. Um, we find it really easy to find this sort of thing on Airbnb. Now, if you haven't used Airbnb before, there are so many different ways you can um, find places. You can search by super hosts, flexible cancellation policies, which of course is quite important right now. Um, if you've never used Airbnb before, um, check below. There's a, a link that you can use, and I think you get up to £50 off your first stay, um, and we get a few quid off our next stay as well, so winner, winner. Um, but if you've ever stayed in quirky accommodation like this, let us know in the comments, because we are always looking for new places to stay. Um, and if you um, find somewhere um, inspired by this, also let us know. We've had some new neighbours move in. Um, actually, <laughs> they're sheep. Um, <laughs> our host's neighbour has some sheep and they're sort of sharing fields back and forth um, to keep the grazing right. But uh, yeah, we're going to go and say hello. We have just been sitting in the sunshine enjoying this beautiful afternoon and doing a bit of reading and hanging out and it's literally just this second occurred to us that now we have sheep in the field, it's an actual proper shepherd's hut. It is, authentic shepherd's hut, we have sheep. <laughs> We have had a lovely relaxing afternoon and now it's time for some wine, maybe some cheese and biscuits and some more relaxation.
Well, that about wraps up our stay in this gorgeous little shepherd's hut, and we've had such a nice time. We have. It's been so peaceful here. The bird song is beautiful. You might be able to hear it now. Yeah. <laughs> but it's been a super cute little stay. Um, the hosts are just lovely as well. Really and, lovely. And they know so much about the local area. It's full of recommendations, um, which has been really cool, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but if you've enjoyed this and you fancy staying in a place like this, check out Airbnb. Check out the link below. As we said before, um, if you use our link, you get up to £50 off your next day. And we get a little bit off our next day, so winner, winner. Um, and, um, you know, we really hope that you've enjoyed following along. Don't forget to check out our playlist. Yes, we have a whole playlist of quirky stays in the UK. So if you're looking for some staycation inspiration, go and check out that playlist. We will link that for you. Um, but thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Um, if you've enjoyed this, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and you've got the notification bell on because we've got lots more coming your way this year. But bye for now. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye. Bye.